Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I guess today's um, t- today's topic is uh, the house of uh, house of the dragons. That uh, what's it called again? We do actually have episode two coming out tomorrow. Which, um, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, um, yeah. So, so house of the dragon uh, premiered last Sunday on HBO, and uh, um, uh, it's to be honest, it's actually a lot better than what I thought. Is because. Um, uh, season eight let uh left such a bad taste in my mouth it's just uh well season seven but mostly season eight uh that the fact that uh D um I, I i call them dumb and dumber but uh the fact that they <laughs> rushed it um like like i know that uh hbo actually uh, uh told them hey let's do a an uh an 10 episode uh season seven and season eight and they're like no let's do a eight ep- an eight episode season seven and six episodes season eight and but the last two episodes are going to be like an hour and a half or two hours long or something like that which uh which is completely untrue because um the last uh episode was about an an hour and probably 15 to 20 minutes and like 15 to 20 minutes was that was just like excerpt recap uh like recap and sort of like behind the scenes stuff but uh but but uh house of the dragon um definitely um it's sort of bringing hope into uh into this franchise for me at least but uh what do you think Ray? yeah yeah uh, i kind of agree with you there but um i I, i'm aware about that too that hbo offered to prolong game of thrones because um it was yeah because it still needed fleshing out as Mm -hmm. uh, as i mentioned but yeah they were like the the dnd as you mentioned dumb and dumber and it's called dumb and dumber (laughs) (laughs) no let's just end this already in season eight because yeah Lo and behold, um, they they were supposedly they were supposed to be having a Star Wars project, which yeah, and, and it's a it's really a shame. It's really a shame that ended up being such a bummer because I was really loving the series. Like um, I was saying to myself way back before season eight premieres, like okay, when this series finishes, I want to watch again from season one. I, I want to go yeah. back to season one and and go do the nitty gritty like the details that I missed, the details that I forgot. But no, oh, forget it. I'm like after season eight. Uh, after they butchered everything, like they try to subvert expectations that not in a good way, yeah, in a pretty terrible way. Uh, and yeah, the writing is all over the place. Like everything, the foundations of the first four seasons were gone. The materials from the books were gone. But yeah, um, House of the Dragon seems like um, HBO is like trying. They they are aware of uh, what they're up against, so they they needed to make up for that. Like um, like this episode one. Uh, I know there's some feedback that there's like the um there's it's pretty boring it's pretty slow but f- in my opinion that's not really supposed to be the expectation for a season one episode one it's like it's yeah. more of the world building introducing yeah. the characters introducing the world which is what they managed to pull off which is quite successful um yeah that that's what I think um it's overall I'm pretty happy with it yeah same as you and um there's a I'm more optimistic now. Hopefully, hopefully they keep this up or even do better for the rest mm-hmm. of the season. Yeah, I'm. Um, I'm kind of happy with how things began. How it um, with like background of the Tar uh, Targaryens. I think Jaehaerys was the old king. Uh, Jaehaerys uh, needed an heir because his sons died out of tragedy. I don't know if the books covered how they died, but yeah. So it started with um, Jaehaerys being. Okay, I, I, um, the kingdom needs an heir, but mm-hmm. my sons are dead. So it was either Viserys, I think his, I, I'm not sure it's his son or his, I, I, I can't remember. But yeah, I um, think, uh, the other- yeah, I, 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 I think it's uh, what's it called again? Uh, two sons, right? It's the, is uh, yeah, I think I think it's Viserys and and uh, Damon, right? Oh, no, no, no. Um, Damon is... Matt Smith's I, character. I, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm referring to the very start. Do you remember? It, it was between a woman and Viserys. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, I remember now. Yeah, it was, uh, yeah. it was the, yeah. the, 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 I guess it's Viserys' sister. Uh, yeah, I, I'm assuming, I, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, it's, it's a relative. I, I can't remember either because, yeah, I'm not, I'm not an all-out fan of a game, of the books, mm-hmm. but yeah. So yeah. I like the world building. Like I like what the part where the uh, the narrator said, because um, the only way this ki- the kingdom is so powerful, so prosperous, the only thing that can bring it down is itself. 
So it, it's a, it's a, it's a really good foreshadowing of what's what's about to come, right? Yeah, ab- about, yeah, ab- yeah. Ab- absolutely. Um, I I would say um, like 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 for me, I I usually tend to try to make sure that I I, I go into watching a show, um, majority of the time at least, um, with with uh was was just op- being open minded. Um, it, like especially uh with something that um, look uh, when 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 Game of Thrones was at its peak, I would say probably uh the Red Wedding. I would say the Red Wedding and probably season four when uh when uh the, the whole uh, Joffrey stuff happened and stuff like that, right? And um, mm-hmm. I, I I would say this show was untouchable in, in, in terms of it being um how culturally ph- uh like a big cultural phenomenon like a, like it's it's it was so big it was like bigger than the Super Bowl it's it it, it was just massive right like it, it was popular everywhere it was the number one most uh, watched uh, series on set on Sunday. It was the most probably a uh, down a uh, bootleg like downloaded on on and pirated on on uh I, I believe on Pirate Bay and um I believe um they were actually able to uh get I'm not sure even on Pornhub they they actually probably ripped it off on on online and put it on Pornhub because like oh, uh, okay. yeah I I, I be, because okay. I know that I I I know they did that with uh what's it called again uh with um what's it called like uh, Rick and Morty <laughs> they did that with Rick and oh, Morty okay. yeah okay. so uh, Rick, okay. What, which is actually pretty funny, and um, to uh, to be to be fair, so how how I judged um the house of uh, house of the dragons versus the the OG Game of Thrones was based off of episode one of each uh, of each the pilot of each uh each series, right? So um the the, the pilot for this one was uh, introduction of the dragons that uh and, and and I'm assuming that the the writers and directors and, and and the showrunners they already know like they're assuming that people who are watching this already know the backstory but like if you don't know the backstory like how how is this interesting to you right so you have dragons you have uh you have sex and you have violence and then you actually Uh have you actually have like people like sort of deceiving one another you know hence the game of thrones right so um it was actually pretty interesting i thought that um that this one uh they, they they're more isolated in terms of characters right you 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 know um you barely know that the, the female the, the viserys sister or, or 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 the other person that was supposed to uh, go into the throne you know damon you know um god what's what's the daughter's name like Rhaenyra, Rhaenyra yeah something like yeah, that yeah, so yeah. Rhaenyra. Yeah, and um, and, and you know a couple of uh, other characters, and, and then you sort of see like the, the the sigils of each house is like the house Baratheon, house, uh, house uh, Stark. Uh, I don't think I've seen um, house Lannister yet, but uh, you see like High Tower and yeah. stuff like that, like Old Town. Yeah. Like you, you see all of those. Actually, it was actually pretty interesting. But when I was watching it with my wife, um, it was actually pretty interesting because uh, she said that she liked the original pilot better. And I asked her why, and she was like, "Well, the thing is that you you got introduced into a bigger cast, right? You you met the Lan- you met the Lannisters, you oh, other than Tywin, right? You met you met La- the Lannisters, you met the Starks, you met the Baratheons, uh, you met you know Jon Snow, you, the, how, how they got their wolves, and um, it, it's just like a uh, Bran Stark, how he became how how you know how he got paralyzed, and it was um it, it was definitely like oh." What happens next? Oh, what happens next? Versus this one, she said that it was more of oh, okay, so she's gonna be the heir. Okay, so what's 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 the next episode now? Versus versus that one, um, the pilot of the uh, original Game of Thrones left uh, left sort of like a cliffhanger, right? But yeah. to be honest, yeah. I thought this was a good start. Um, mm-hmm. I think I I think this is a um a very good um. A very good start like it's not great or anything like that and i'm just trying to like make sure that like if the show is holds on and it learns from its past um hopefully we can get around 10 seasons of this or something like that like it, it'll be pretty it'll, it'll be it'll be pretty awesome uh i'm not sure so so according to the i think there was the epilogue of of the first episode this, this is like about like 174 years before daenerys came in right yeah, so, yeah or, 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 or something like that so um but yeah, yeah I, I i thought it was pretty cool um there are some stuff where um where uh i i felt like uh you know like uh, where, where a lot of people were like oh did th- this show is going to be it's going to be woke right th- th- this show is going to be it- it's, it's going to have all these things and for me i think that it 
you got to think about the, the the day and the time this is set in, right? And um, you got to think about where, like, this is this is a long time ago. They didn't have modern medicine and stuff like that. And like a lot of like the rage that people that, that I've been seeing online was them saying that, oh, this is this is like this is the Roe v. Wade all over again. Like 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 Gray. I, I'm not I'm not sure if you know too much about Roe v. Wade, but um, it's it, it, it's definitely like that. This happened back in this in, in the '60s. But um, do you do you know much about Roe v. Wade? Um, I've I think I've heard of it before, but mm-hmm. I do not remember the story. It's something to do with childbirth, right? Uh, it, or it, something it, similar. It's it, it, it ha- so the what Roe v. Wade is. I I believe um so Ro, uh, Roe v. Wade is uh what's it called again? A um a per a um a fee, uh, a mother l- 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 um. You know, for 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 a layman's term, like just something more simple, uh, she wanted to have an abortion, and and, and this is this is back in the sixties, I believe. Wow. And she wanted she have she wanted to have an abortion, and uh, so she was like, okay, I want to go have an abortion, but they're like, oh, you know, it's illegal for you to have an abortion here in Texas is because of the law, okay. and uh, okay. this, 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 so this is state law, right? So so the state law of Texas back in back in the day was, uh, you are not allowed to have an abortion unless it's um. It's a uh, if if it's detrimental to the mother's life, so uh, that's the only way that you can have it. So she was like, okay, uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go talk to a lawyer. So the lawyer is like, yeah, you can't have that. And and what happened? So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue. The, I'm gonna sue the state, right? Because this is a Fourteenth Amendment issue, and the Fourteenth Amendment issue is the the right to privacy. So let's say if I get I get some kind of surgery on myself, um, the government should not have a say in it. Right. They, sh- they, they okay. should they, okay. they, they, they should not have a say. They should not have they shouldn't even know like it's my privacy. Right. So it's so um so she sued on that merits and she won. But this went all the way up to the Supreme Court. So when the Supreme mm-hmm. okay. so they went, this, this case went all the way up to the Supreme Court, she won. And then the Supreme Court is like, uh, sure, just blanket state like, OK, this um. Roe v. Wade, um, you know, like it, we're ruling in favor of Roe, and uh, moving forward, uh, uh, people should be able to have uh, abortions. Um, period. Right. It 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 was part. It was part of the the amendment fourteen, so that the right to privacy. Uh, so when and there and, and how this relates to this one, it was just like, well, here's the thing, um, the king. So the, of course this is gonna be spoilers. <laughs> so the the, the king spoilers, was, everybody. Yeah, yeah, this is big, big, big spoilers. But it's it's, it's been out in a week. It, 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 I would say if you were a yeah. big um, Game of Thrones fan or or, or or you know um you know um George R R Martin kind of stuff like you, you, that, you should probably already have seen this already. But um, what happens is that um the king's w- sorry the, 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 the king's wife is pregnant and she was like oh um I'm 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 gonna give birth. So what happened was like um so the the maesters was like basically the nurses and, and the doctors are like well um she's like the baby is turned and um you know it's not coming out correctly so uh you either we're gonna have to where if what do you want to do we either have to cut her open and this will kill her to save the baby or she's or they're both gonna die which one which one would you want and as a king so he's a king he's he's a person of power a politician um went ahead and said. Let's get the baby out, right? So this is against mm-hmm. her her will. Uh, uh, th- 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 this is against her um, her consent. So he goes ahead and said, "Okay, Maester, go ahead and cut out the baby." So they did an emergency C section to save the baby, and um, and she ends up bleeding, you know, bleeding out, bleeding to death. Is because they don't have, you know, it's not they don't have modern medicine or any uh, or any of that kind of stuff back in the day. So when the baby was born, uh, the maester hold it. It was a boy, and the baby lived for a little bit, and, and the baby ended up dying. So in terms of how a lot of people were actually people who were like uh, they want abortions for uh, for everyone. Right. They want abortion by my body, my choice. If I want abortion, I should have it and stuff like that. So what they what they ended up saying was that this king deserved it. Right. You deserve to lose your wife and you deserve to lose your 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 kid is because you did an okay. abortion and, and like you, you did an abortion. And this is against like consent. Right. This is what you wanted. This is what you get. So that was why like the you know, like the the, the, the people who are like, like who are pro choice were like, this is what you deserve. You you deserve this. You deserve to lose everything because you 
did this without the woman's consent. So it, it, yeah. it, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a weird take because um, if I were in the Viserys shoes, like, would I put my wife in that position? Like, you have to make a decision now. Like, yeah. uh, it's either you die or you just die or you both die. Uh, it's hard at that very moment to tell yeah. her that, something like that. And it's like, yeah, I would, make, I would just make the hard decision. Yeah, I would, I would do exactly what, this, what Viserys said. Like, yeah, I, I love you. Then, yeah, you, you give that impression that something's not great is going to happen. Then, but, yeah. You, how, what, I mean, what could he have done? What could he have done in that scenario? It's, yeah. I think it's going to make it even worse. And it might even risk the baby. Well, we know what happens later to the baby. But uh, it might risk, the operation might go risk. In, it might risk in failure if I let her know yeah. psychologically. Yeah. And that too. Uh, and um, people also need to take note that this is a prequel. So we, um, that's the hard thing about prequels is that, like, um, well, chances are the people are watching or watch the main, the main line. Mm -hmm. So they already know what's going to happen here in this, uh, what generally is going to happen in this prequel. So they need to find some way to convincingly pull it off because that's the hard part of prequels. Like, people already know what's going to happen, unlike in the mainline series. So, yeah, prequels are really a tough bag to pull off in such a way that many people will be convinced that it's a good way to pull off the prequel. Uh, but then, yeah, so it's trying to explain it. It's like, um, since it's already preordained, in a sense, like, we, all, we know what's going to happen in the end. Like, the, the House of Targaryens, it's in flames, it's, it's in shambles. But I think it's a good way to, inter um, it, it was a good way to begin to get the ball rolling, to uh, mm -hmm. have a problem with the inheritance, like who's going to sit in the Iron Throne, uh, to do it in such a way, in a convincing way. Like, and it's in typical Game of Thrones fashion for me. It's like, it's brutal. It's ugly. It's, it's never pretty. It's never pretty for a Game of Thrones. So yeah, yeah I, I think it's done correctly. And also, yeah, I, I no, no, it's, I was thinking of something else, but yeah, I think I'm okay with it. I don't see why the how they're relating it to the case you mentioned. Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.